Ready? We're off to the gym, finally, aren't we now? Off we go. You ready for this? Yes. Are you sure? Uh, we're going to A. It's going to A. Where's the last hope of beer? Oh, two months ago. Ooh. <laughs> no, it's three weeks actually for us. So, no, so it's about three weeks. There's a pudding cat there crossing the road up there. There it is. So, yeah, so we're off again. Let's see how we get on, shall we? Welcome to Monday. Um, it's nice and quiet here, which is great. Uh, obviously, Ben went back to school today, which I'm really grateful for, actually. Could get back into his tea. Not that. Excuse me. He's been the right utter nightmare the holiday. I think it's just his hormones again. It's just going all over the place at the minute. Anyway, this morning I went to the post office. Um, posted off three pop badges for Sammy so he could get three more he hasn't got. Yeah, so now it says I'm actually able to watch my programmes. Well, I haven't been able to watch the last, I'll say three weeks actually, because obviously it's been nearly three weeks now since the kids haven't been off. And now, catch up with the washing again, obviously. And also this afternoon, got to take Pepper down to the vets, get his nails clipped. Well, I don't know what else we're doing between then and then. I know students are going to have a look at some of the new shell homes at Bellway, because we were interested in those, but see what they're like first in our price range. And then go from there. I'll see tomorrow back to the gym, which I really can't wait. So now I can really, really feel I haven't been to the gym for three weeks. Probably put on loads and loads of weight because I can actually feel I have to put on the weight. But anyway, that's it for today. And as you can and see, later. there's our little Pepper in there. Bless him. He's going to take him down the vets, get his nails clipped. Don't we, Pepper? Hey, go get your nails clipped. Yeah? Because I won't do it myself. And here he is, it's Mr. Bearpa. There's Mr. Bearpa. If I can run this way, it's in there. He's panting away because he knows where he's going. Don't like the vets, do you, my sweetheart? Hey, you don't like the vets? You can get your nails clipped so you don't hurt yourself. And yeah. I can go now, hey. and walking to pick the Sammy up from school. As you can tell, it's started to rain, which is horrible. But hopefully, it shouldn't rain too much. I just want to know. Well, Sam has then got his lightweight jacket like us, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get home and then it can rain. I know it's supposed to rain today, I know tomorrow it's supposed to rain as well, so make sure tomorrow he takes his bigger coat. But yeah, so hopefully, he's had a good day today, then we'll find out in Hi a bit. Everyone. Welcome to Tuesday, it's nice and quiet here, it's just me today, um, obviously, because I know Sina will go to Tuesdays off. But tomorrow we've got to take um, Ben to the pediatrician. So Stephen swapped his days over. But this afternoon we're heading up to the gym. It's been three weeks now since we went because it's got holidays and Ben's having a little holidays. So I know it's going to hurt. I might take it a little bit easy today. And then, because it's been three weeks, so I'm not eight as much tomorrow morning. And then obviously when we we'll go again on Thursday, Friday ish. Not, so, not too quite sure yet. I might do my full programme. Um, ben and Sammy went off to school quite happily this morning. Ben got picked up about 25 past 8 and he couldn't wait to get on his bus. And then Sammy ran all the way to school, which is good for him. I think we come to a decision now on his schooling, but I'm not going to say anything yet. I just need to make sure it's all settled first before we decide on anything else we want to do. But yeah, um, weather outside is okay. I debate whether to put my washing out or not. I know it's pushed to drop. It's pushed to rain later, isn't it? So I might just think I might just leave it for today. I'm not too quite sure if you can see this very well, but I'm in the process of doing my family tree. See, um, Samuel started it. We had to do some homework for school for the family tree, so I did a basic one. But now it's I'm going to sign up to a company to do it over the internet, which is good. As you can see, I'm doing the turvy side of the family tree, which is my dad's mum's maiden name side of the family tree. And you look carefully, I managed to go back to 1610. And that's a George Turvey. If I click on here, quickly show you something. If let me do this. As you can see, he's my 10th great grandfather, so I managed to go back 10 generations for him. 
it's amazing actually what you can actually find out from these ones. So that's that one there. Yeah, there's quite a few here. If I quickly go through down here, you can see that there's quite a few here. On the amazing actually. What you yeah, really, I'm really impressed what I've actually managed to find out. This is this one on here as well. A lot up here. I quit down from down here. I'm not too quite sure. Not my intention to find up at the minute. There we go, all on here, little on here, look, there's loads on here. Going to down inside here. Just a few more here. Can't believe how many brothers and sisters one of my relatives had. Look at this one he had. There's loads he had. There's loads of. Um, go back here, look, William Turvey, Emma Turvey. Obviously, I still need to finish doing this one off. There's still, there, cause there's still quite a few here, but it's, so it's fine in time when I've got the kids to do it. So I tend to do it when the kids are in bed or I've got nothing to do at home. This is the Stevenson side of the family tree, which is be my dad's dad's side. Um, I'm actually struggling with this side because obviously um, Thomas Henry Stevenson, which would be my great granddad. I don't know, it's probably date of birth. I'm really struggling with this side. So if anybody has got any ideas on how you can actually find a proper date of birth, please let me know. I've managed, there's quite a few actually on here. I know some of my relatives, some of the relatives down here. Um, the teeny side and stuff like that. I know they actually went to America and Canada. They immigrated out there for when um, I think it was just before the world, just before the World War War. I think it one was. And this is a flower side of the family tree. This would be my granddad's. My great granddad's wife was her maiden name was the flower. So it's in some relation to her. As you can see, I managed to go back a little bit further back on this one. Put that one up there. Go back up here. This is where I got managed to get up to here. I struggled then going back to 1698. If I click on here, you can see half of them have been oh, quite lucky because they've been here. Go. He's gone back, so I've managed to go back seven generations on him. That's my seventh great grandfather. It's amazing. So, like I said, it's amazing what you can find out. Really, really impressed. If you look here, you can see all his spouse and his children. He had quite a few. All that money he had down there. Is that one down there? As you can see here, my second great uncle, George Flowers, he actually served in the British Army in World War One, the Army Service, nineteen fourteen to nineteen twenty. Which um, that's there. That's pretty good, actually. That one was. And this is the psych side of the family tree. So that being my mum's. Granddad, to be my granddad's mum, no, my granddad's dad's side of the family. I managed to go to 1817 on that one. Obviously, again, I haven't finished all these and stuff. There's, there's that one there. A few more that side of course, there. Because it's amazing, really. That one. So I do, I. That one. And this is the other side of the family tree. This was from my nan's mum's side of the tree the tree and she went back to 1855 I think on that one and there's that one on there yes yeah, so I'm so really really enjoying looking at the family trees and hopefully I can find a bit more information soon and then this one here is Stephen's mum's side of the family tree again it's quite good I find like to find some quite easy for information about this one here um Harry Mutton here that was um Stephen's um great uncle yeah, great hunger. He actually, if you look carefully, he actually died in one of the wars. He, he died in 1918 in France and Flanders in, in one of the wars. Which is really good. That one. Okay, also on here on Stephen's side, managed to go back eight generations of him to his great great grandfather, which was Richard Phillips. Again, he was born 18. Not so he was born, well, I'm not quite sure of his birth there, but he died 12th of September 1861 in Leicestershire. Ready? Great. We're off to the gym finally, aren't we now? Off we go. Ready for this? Yes. Are you sure? Uh, we're going to have, we're going to have. Where's the last time we're going to be here? Oh, three months ago. Ooh. <laughs> no, it's three weeks actually for us. So. No, so it's about three weeks. There's a puddy cat there crossing the road up there. 
It is. So, yeah, so we're off again. We'll see how we get on, shall here we? we are at the gym. I can't believe we've been up here three weeks, but I hope this, that's what I said. It's been nearly three weeks since so I come up here. I can't believe they have, looks like they haven't got anything up here. Well, that's what they've done. They've filled a few holes in. That's what they've done. What? That's what they've done. That's what they've done. I don't know how to do anything. Look, way the best, basically. That's all they've done. If you thought it would take a long time to put some foundations in, would you? Well, well, just have to wait and see, won't we? Okay, Here we are at the gym. On the trip, I'm on the treadmill. Becca's over there. Becca's actually be on the treadmill. See what's on the bike. Bit of a nightmare in here at the minute. They've brought half the gym off. Just wait for the new extension. But hopefully, it should be worth it. Here, it's Becca on the treadmill. So, it's everybody. There he goes. And then, Stephen, he's over there. So you can see it was a bit of a nightmare, all crushed, it was a bit crushed by the big in here. But I said, hopefully hope it should be worth it, we're still done. But I don't understand why they haven't even done the, the, the um, foundations yet. Oh, well, it's all you off. can tell, it's hanging oh, under the door. I'm going to do this way. Oh, the hot box is going in there. Oh my God, look at the size of these hail stones. Sammy. Oh my God, it's crazy. Look, that's the craziness that we have. I think I've got to the door. I'm going to close the door, it's crazy. Ow! Look at the size of them, they're massive! Ah, I think we'll close the door. Okay, anyway, I've come back in now because I've been attacked by hails, but I can't believe the size of them, look, they're huge! Pea size! They're pea size, aren't they? We'll see, look, you tell the sky up there is horrible and grey. There you go, look, the bus or that's going to take a tumble in, wouldn't it, I think? No, look at Ben's trampoline. I know, Ben's trampoline's covered in hailstones! Wow! Okay. Oh, oh, they're big. I know. And look at how poorly run their beings are down there. They're covered in hailstones. This one they're to come through as well. Never mind. Eh? Good morning everyone. Welcome to Wednesday. It's, it's it's a very chilly Wednesday. It's only six and a half degrees. It's a bit chilly compared to the last few days. But they did say it's gonna get colder, but then it's supposed to get hotter again for the weekend. So you can't win either way really, can you? But anyway, um, we're off as you can see we're in the car. We're off to um, Ben's paediatrician appointment today at 11 o'clock. I know we're a bit early, but we thought we are going to have a sneaky McDonald's breakfast first at the Barry Gateway. We really like them. I think the McDonald's breakfast is the best one ever, the best one of the things they do on the menu. And I they could do their breakfast all day. I don't know, I think in America they do them all day. But yeah, anyway, so we're going to catch McDonald's was lovely as always, wasn't it? Yeah. So I had a, bit, I had a um, bacon roll meal with ketchup and the hash brown and, and orange juice. Stephen had a double sausage and egg muffin with a hash brown and a donut. He said the donut was really nice, really soft. But anyway, yes, off we go now. It's got past 10 now. So we're just heading off up to front wires now to pick Ben up so then he can, we can go and see him. Just come out and have Ben's appointment. Um, really good appointment with his pediatrician, which is great. He's obviously, he's growing a bit, which obviously we knew, he put a bit of weight on, but then, um, he reckons for the time he was 18, he carries on the way he's going to be six foot eight. The four engines there, sweetheart. So, quite a, yeah, so not a big boy, but he's seen the progress and then changing him, which is really great. Gave us, some, gave us a little bit of advice as well, what to do with his puberty as well, and things like that. But yeah, really good appointment. I'm really, 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 really pleased with it. Compared to Sam's paediatrician, he's a bit of a nightmare. That's a different story. Anyway, this is us off takes Ben back to school now, and then we can have a quick look round back and bring them one. Castle Key now, where are you going to go first? Uh, go to the bank first, yeah? Let's go into the bank first. Off we go. Is that Debenhams? So I'm going to take the shop first, HMV. I'll go to, go to the bank first then, yeah? Just in the fish and chip shop now. And look how nice that um, cod looks. It's really nice and yummy. We can't have chips like gravy, though, can we? And there's my chips. I just wait for my tomato sauce. I'm looking now. Empty in here. Loads of empty shops again. Let's go this way. Get one empty shop there. Let's go around here. What's that? Water stains? Was that super dry? It's open anyway. See what you thought someone got the OBHS stop by now, wouldn't you? Mm. 
Maybe that's him up for Woolworths. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, look over this castle key to the over here. Maybe it's that way. Okay. That castle key too. So weird because I can't even afford the upper ones, look. Yeah. So we have a new hotel, see restaurant, cinema, supermarket. The little's going to be out there, isn't it? It's about there, yeah. What's that? What's that? What's it going to be April? First plan is 2017. One to open 2018 for the open. I think it is. What is it? Is yeah. That's what it's going to look like. That. That's not quite nice. Let's see here. Look. Where are we? This is what it look like. Mm. They're nice. Yeah, Eleven. See the saw. The spice was there. Mm. So I see. It's going to need some of these car parks up. I think. Mm. Looks yeah, like. Yeah. But nice, hopefully, once it's done. It's been Lettonia, it is Lettonia, isn't it? What's that? Gap, I've got a point to sail on. That's a lot of the, uh, over here. We're going now, on. you're going to the car factory, all right? Into the car factory. Yeah. Off we go. Father's Day card, right? Father's Day card, yeah, when is Father's Day? June, isn't it? When is my birthday, isn't it? Yeah. Around here. Get Mary's card. And... Get Mary's card, yeah. yeah it's quite busy in here, look. Yeah. Okay, you get it. This is new. This is new, but this is a part of the essential switch down there. Yeah, it was. Marks and Spencer's used to where it ended. Yeah. Do you know that? All the times we come in here, don't you know that? <laughs> <coughs> no, it's high water to the left and that is. No. Empty shop. I couldn't find that to extend to put more shops in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and it's quite funny. Clark, Clan Summers. What? Summer. I don't know what it is, isn't it? This sports. And Clinton's. Have they got any more research left in there? What? No. No. <laughs> no, that's a waste. That next clearance shop would have done well in there, I think. If I took the next clearance shop there, then it's at their other place. Stupid charge of it, isn't it? It is. Can I slip on as well? Don't want their love. Mm -hmm. They did last time in there, did they? That was gone as well. He's got a little cookie bag, isn't he? He's got a little cookie bag, isn't he? Oh, what's that? Oh, 2.15. That's quite nice. That's quite good. Bloody... That's pretty good. Yeah, DVD. Oh, wow. It's a CD as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. It's quite keep it on that, actually. Oh, she's out this week. Let's have a look at what we got. Look, can you believe vinyl's back? It's quite funny. Texas. What is that? <laughs> this is the girl for Sammy, look. Kids bops. They go to a well. I oh, know, yeah, I'm glad I bought that one, I did. Mm. That's what Stephen just pointed out, the slip cover of Miranda's <coughs> gone now, so I'm glad I got that one, I did. I want to see Trolls. Quite a lot of people say Trolls are supposed to be good. I know, it's asking what it's like. They get a real rumble there, down 12 99 uh, I've already got that. What, 2017? Yeah, I think so. Call the midwife, like call the midwife. Here you go, look at this one then. The Marine 5 background, 7.99. Here's the guy who's got Miz, Bay Dallas, Heath Slater, Curtis Axel, Naomi. Who else has got in it? 
Oh no. I don't know if it actually made this in the room. No, they're just made for TV movies, aren't they? Stupid. Oh no. Never bought that, we haven't watched it yet. I know, there's a lot of things we've bought we haven't watched. I know. So I must look at the other one because they're on 9.99 each or 2 for 15. Mm. That's what I was raising, isn't it? I thought it was a Goldberg then. The gold. The Goldbergs. Stephen picked up nine lives. That's a bad 6 9 life from. Oh, is that Blu ray? From dog films to cat films. I know. It's a good office in here on the Blu rays. I mean, it's six ninety nine for Blu rays. I know, it's a good office <coughs> at the minute. Maybe birds, maybe seven quid. I know. Mm. Good office on it, isn't it? Take it home, say you're $2.99. Yeah. You're right. You're back. Seaman's back suffering this morning. Back down. Side. Hey, side. Rock and pop down here. You like on here? Rock and pop. There's another thing on here. Yeah, I got that one. Of course I have. What's that? Take that one there. What's that one? That was different. Collection. Really oh, I've got those. Let's point get them all right again. <coughs> See, there's no, is there, is there one there you want? On this, might just have a look. No, there's no CDs at all. I Anything else I want to know, let's have a look. Hi everyone, welcome to Thursday. It's just gone nine o'clock. Just have a quick cup of tea before I tidy up the house for a little bit. Got my care assessment today at 10 o'clock, so I can't really have a bit of a messy house really. Obviously, it's not, sorry, it's not really messy, it's just to help the floor needs a quick hoover and pick up the kids' toys, that's all. And hopefully, I said it took me six months of waiting to get this care assessment today. So hopefully they'll be able to give us a bit of help and advice of Ben, like putting the social package for him or something where we can get direct payments and we can get a work to take Ben out for a couple of hours, something once a week to give us a bit of a break. Yeah, quite hopefully it should help us out with him. Well, obviously, if they say yes, of course. Well, my care assessment went well earlier on. I'm um, just got to wait off to see, see now what they come back with, if they can help us or not. Hopefully they can. But anyway, I think Ben must be going through another gross spurt. He has come home from school so, so hungry today. He has been obviously trying to sneak into the kitchen, trying to keep things to eat. He from school said he was trying to snatch food, which doesn't look like him anymore because he stopped it for a while, but now he started again. Anyway, I dread to think how big he's going to be when he gets older. Anyway, that, I said that's Friday over with, Friday, Thursday over with now. So tomorrow's Friday. Right, it'll be another long weekend then for the, for the boys. Because obviously we're busy at the weekend, we've got truck fest on Sunday, which should be good. I think there's over two and a half thousand trucks there. Bear and Breeze element there. We're also going to be Todd and Lisa as well, so that should be, that should be good. If people know who Todd and Lisa are, they're on the ice road truckers. But anyway, that's for me done tonight, so I'll say good night and I shall see you tomorrow. Good evening, it's Friday. Good night, people, it's me. It's Friday evening, I haven't vlogged today was because I've been quite busy doing a bit of housework and stuff. We had Sammy's um, EHCP meeting school this afternoon. I'm really pleased how it went. They've agreed that um, Sammy needs a special school, well obviously not, a spe not actually a special school as such because he's in the middle. Um, we just got to find the right school now suitable for his knees which is going to be hard but I'm sure we'll get there. But anyway that's it for today. Just want to say thanks for watching our vlog this week. Uh, obviously if you're new to the channel Please like, comment and subscribe. 
We also do, so we do a week vlog, which is uploaded either probably either a Saturday or a Sunday. Week vlog is either on a Saturday and weekend vlog is normally a Monday, depending on how quick we get to it. <laughs> and also we do regular unboxings of DVDs <coughs> and Blu-rays and stuff that we've got. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget the Still Image production shop. Link uh, below. <laughs> And also, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye bye! Bye, second pose. Bye, bye! -bye. <laughs> Ready to end credits? <laughs>